Hey YouTube, I'm Steve-O, and I'm Patty Cakes, and, and this, this is Redneck907. We haven't done a video in a couple days, we figured that, you know, maybe the small fan base that we have right now would like to see another video from us, so we are going to do a review on Skull Lanka Apple Tobacco Blend today. So the only reason we're doing the skull is because uh, we haven't received our outlaw dip yet, or the tough guy or chew the tough that we ordered. Chew, so once those come in, we'll have uh, several videos to do reviewing the different outlaw chews and or the outlaw dips and the tough guy dips. The only one we weren't able to get was the outlaw wild watermelon. As soon as it's back in stock, we'll order that and do a review on that. Yeah, we were hoping that uh, all that stuff would be here today, but didn't come in today, so we'll give it probably till I'd say... We'll Monday, or Monday or Tuesday, or Tuesday hopefully. hopefully. Um, also, we've ordered three more mud jugs. Uh, we ordered a mud jug limited edition Alaska. We ordered, of course, the new uh, Outlaw Southern Blend mud jug, and then the just Southern a... Southern Sweet Tea. The Southern Sweet Tea mud jug, I'm sorry. And what was the uh, other one we ordered? Black. Uh, uh, just a black. just a standard mud jug, but in black. Today I'm using, again, my Outlaw Lucky Lipper mud jug. I'm using my Tactical Tan mud jug, and uh, and just so you guys know, my normal everyday dip is Grizzly Fine Cut Wintergreen. In my opinion, the Grizzly Fine Cut Wintergreen is the best wintergreen dip available out there today and my everyday is grizzly long cut wintergreen i don't like the fine cut i like the long cut as usual we have a gun set up here um sitting right here in the center is my marlin 18 model 1895 guide gun chambered in 4570 this is the one I used this year for moose hunting and I took a moose with. Love the gun. Short, light, accurate. Dropped him right through the front shoulders and lungs. One shot at 150 yards. And on my side I got my everyday carry gun. It's my uh, Springfield 40, yeah, Springfield XDM 40. Uh, got... I had a laser, and I never put it on, but I finally put my laser on the gun, so got it all sighted in and everything. And on this side, of course, is my Springfield SAXD chambered for 45 Auto. One of my favorite pistols I have. I have several different pistols. That one is probably my favorite. We'll leave that off of there. It's kind yeah. of blocking our faces. So, without further ado, we'll crack this can. I don't like the apple uh, I, or skull in general. I don't like skull. Yeah, I don't really buy skull. Um, um, I've tried a couple different flavors of the apple or of the skull, uh, but not a huge fan. I'm spilling it, making a mess already. So, there you go. Smells and, smells good. Yeah, it does. It has a good, really and good apple yes, smell. It is the skull apple. Our tripod hasn't come in yet, so we had to come up with a little and our, of a redneck our, stand. Our for camera it. person is absent today. It's just us here at the house today, so we're having to make do with what we have until our tripod comes in. And so uh, we're gonna we got a little makeshift hillbilly stand holding the camera up right now. But it'll work. It'll work. And coming soon, we are. Uh, we had a request from uh, uh, Selena Chikoyak for the for the black bull. Yeah, She's black supposed bull. to be sending us some black bull, which is a native chew. It comes from the Yukon Delta area of Alaska, from I believe the Inupiaq. The Inupiaq, I think. And they're sending us some Black Bull, which is a native chew. They use tobacco leaf, and they put different natural herbs and stuff into it. And the the natives chew it. 
and we are going to try that as soon as we get that package in the mail. Also, uh, Chewy, oh, uh, Chewster, like 19101 or something. Something like Chewy 101. Chewy 101. Chewy 101. Chewster 101. I don't we'll have, have to look phone. his name yeah. up. We'll, we'll give him a better shout out. But he asked us to do a challenge on, uh, uh ass out of space. Or a, ass out a, in a, space. Ass out in space or ass out of space. Something hot like sauce. hot sauce. We're looking for it. As soon as we find it, we'll do a review on that, and when we do the the review on that and the challenge on that, we will give we'll get Chewy's. I think it's Chewy 101, but I'm not positive. We'll get his right name out, and we'll give him a shout a better shout out on that. Yeah, I'd give him a better shout out, but my phone and all that is kinda being used right being now. Being used, so so I'm gonna pack this up. Take me a pinch here. Pass it over to Patty Cakes. Let him take a pinch. See, there's a nice big pinch of this Skull Apple blend. It doesn't smell too horrid. Not too bad. I've had it in the freezer for a little bit. Just keeping it fresh. So it's a little cold right now. Yeah. All right. And we, got, we got multiple cans of dip in the freezer. If you guys like these dip reviews... Like, share, and subscribe. We'll keep doing them. And uh, as we get more, um, as we've said in our other videos, as we get more comments on what you guys would like us to do, we'll continue doing them. Without our fan base, we couldn't do this without you guys. So without further ado, let's try this Skull Apple blend out. Mm. not too good well it's not as sweet as i thought it would be and not quite uh as strong of an apple taste you can taste the tobacco in it definitely you can taste the tobacco in it yeah um, it's not too much of an apple-y taste either it's, i mean you get a slight hint of apple but real mild apple taste mm -hmm. to it um the aftertaste is almost medicine-y kind of like a, a cough syrup fake Fake, yeah. Real fake taste. Uh, not much to say. Uh, I don't know. It's. I don't like it. It's uh, definitely not something I'd do. Uh, get some, you know, work it in. Get some, get some juices going. The apple taste is real, real mild. I taste more of a, a sweetness, almost maybe like a honey or a molasses. Mm -hmm. But the apple is real subtle. And light, I mean, you don't really taste the apple. The apple taste in it is not bad tasting. It's just so mild of an apple taste, it's, it's hard to even pick up on it. If it if it was a stronger apple taste and not as fake tasting... And, and, and the medicine-y taste, yeah. don't get me wrong, it's not real strong like if you took a t tablespoon of you know NyQuil or something like that. It's just real mild... It's I, I wouldn't say it's harsh, It's it's it has a really smooth transition into mm. into it um it's not something i would do every day i i could say there there is definite improvements if if they would improve the flavor make it a little stronger the apple flavor is a little mild mm. i expect a little more more maybe if they added maybe like some cinnamon vanilla yeah, to like it an apple cinnamon, make it like a pretty good make it more like an apple pie mm. Cinnamon vanilla mix. Maybe we'll have to do a suicide. Get some skull apple. I know uh, Tough Guy Chew has a cinnamon and, and a vanilla. vanilla. Maybe we'll try that when we get our Tough Guy Chew and do a suicide with this apple, the vanilla, and the cinnamon, and see if that gives us like a more of an apple pie flavor. Yeah, that'd be. I that'd think that would be honestly, really good. might be pretty good. Yeah, you know, if I didn't have any of my Gers Wintergreen Long Cut, and this is all I had in the freezer. It's better than no dip. It's also better than like the Grizz Natural, the Premium Natural. Yes. It's also better than any Copenhagen I've ever tried. So we've only tried a couple of the Copenhagens. We've tried, of course, if you guys haven't seen the video, we did uh, just regular Copenhagen snus, Copenhagen snuff, I think it's called, mm -hmm. with uh, Dave's and Sandy sauce on it. That was that was pretty bad. Oh, um, 
So yeah, if you haven't if you haven't seen that video, definitely go take a look at that one. Yeah, I'd have to say overall, mm -hmm. I'd give this a rating of like a out of ten, a four probably. Yeah, I'd have to agree somewhere around a four or a five. It's not the worst dip I've ever had. But definitely not the best dip I've ever a had. A lot of room for improvement. There's Lots of room. A lot of room for improvement. Uh, I, I also think they should try and make, instead of a green apple like this, they should try and make a red apple flavor. Or, that, a, or a candy apple. Mm -hmm. Candy apple, kind of, would be good. That might be interesting, but, you know, it's not too horrid. It's I, I don't personally like it too much, but I'd have to say... If this was all I could get my hands on, or I did, or if I was too lazy to go to the store and get me a new can, I'd just throw some of this in. Yes, if, uh, if that's what I had, I would definitely chew it over some of the other chews. And uh, another, another chew, uh, another one we're going to be doing soon. Uh, it is becoming Christmas time here, here in a few weeks, and I, I heard that if you take. The skull cherry and a mint, like the the grizzly mint or even a skull mint or something, like that, and mix them together, it tastes like candy cane. So here in a couple weeks, we'll do a, a review on that with a suicide with a, a mint and a and a cherry dip, and see how that tastes, and we'll let you guys know on that. So a long while ago, I. Uh, was working with a construction company and I got told to try something because I had some, uh, what was that, Red Man Chew, just a uh, leaf tobacco. And uh, they used to say, or they told me that uh, when they were younger, they'd uh, get the Hubba Bubble Bubble Gum, the strawberry bubble gum, chewed up and wrap your tobacco leaves in the chewed up bubble gum to make sure there's still some flavor. And I, I have tried it before and I think it's pretty good. Steve O's never tried it. So I want to make a video of him All right, giving sounds it a good. try. We'll have to get some um, Hubba Bubba and some Red Man and try that. And maybe we'll try it with some other dips, maybe some yeah. or, or other chews. Levi Garrett, I look, I've been looking for some Stoker's Peach. I've heard Stoker's Peach is really good. Yeah. We can try it with different chews and maybe even some dips. Mm -hmm. So uh, I do like uh, plugs, too. I want to get yes. some plugs. The only plug I've had is Days of Work. That's the only one I've been able to find here. Um, eventually, though, I'd like to find some Levi Garrett plug or some, uh, what's the other one? There's Levi Garrett, Days of Work. Red Man plug. Red Man plug. There's Chattanooga, Ch Chattanooga Chew. Um, there's a lot of different plugs out there. We'll just have to try to find different ones and try them out and let you guys know what we think about them. But, as for this Skull Apple, the the flavor of mine's basically gone. It, yeah. It doesn't the flavor hold doesn't flavor. last very long. Yeah. The apple is just... You I, can taste it. You can definitely taste the apple. It's just not very mm, strong in the apple. There. But the overall flavor, it was... It's, it's pretty much gone. Like, all I'm really getting anymore is... A little tobacco. bit of tobacco, tobacco, and then, I mean, there's still a slight sweet taste, and then you can taste a little bit of the sour for the green apple, but for the most part, it's just kind of gone, and doesn't taste too good at all. Uh, I wouldn't, if I didn't have to, I wouldn't spend my money on it. It's, nope. Get Grizzly Winter Green, it's a lot better. Mm. Whether you get the long cut or oh. the fine cut. Grizzly wintergreen is the best out there. If you don't like the wintergreen flavor, the second best grizzly chew I've ever tried was the new grizzly chew that they came out with a few months ago. It's uh, the it's premium, premium, premium dark, dark select. Premium yeah. dark select. There is premium dark select. That is some really good chew. I mean, it's not a super strong tobacco taste, so it's... It's got a sweet flavor. It's not super strong tobacco. It's it's a real mild chew. It's real good. I think for if you're a first time dipper, try that premium dark select instead of jumping into like wintergreen or anything like that. You'll have a easier time handling it. Possibly this this skull apple's pretty mild. I think a first time chewer can handle something like this versus taking like a a full strength like Copenhagen mm -hmm. or 
or even a Grizzly straight long cut or something like that. Get something more mild like this Skull Apple. Hell, even Red Man's <clears throat> pretty mild, but I mean, you're going to get a lot of nicotine out of Red Man chewing on that. Yeah. But for for first time dip, uh, Red Man's pretty mild <clears throat> too. If you're not sitting there and chewing on it for the flavor. Uh, my first dip was Grizz Wintergreen. Uh, didn't make me sick. To the point of puking, I got a little lightheaded and everything, but after the first time trying it, I, <coughs> I fell in love with it. My so. first dip was Copenhagen, so my my grandfather chewed Copenhagen, and as a as a as a kid, my grandfather saved all his Copenhagen cans, and why he did, I don't know. He had garbage bags full of empty Copenhagen cans in his shed, and me and all my cousins, when we go in the summer to Missouri to visit my grandpa. We would sneak into his shed and we would take all the empty cans and have that residue left in them. And we'd scrape them all in and we'd make us a can of tobacco. And, you know, we'd put a little water in there to moisten it up. And we would, all, me and all my cousins and brothers and everything, we'd try chewing that. And the very first time I did it, I turned about three shades of green and puked everywhere. I was probably eight or nine years old. It wasn't good. But it left me curious wanting more, and over the years I just kept trying different ones until I finally found something I really liked. I did chew, um, before Grizzly, I did chew Copenhagen a lot, and I did chew Skull Wintergreen a lot, but anymore, Grizzly Fine Cut Wintergreen. I've chewed Copenhagen enough to know I don't like it. I can't stand Copenhagen. I mean... The uh, well, the ones I've tried anyways. I haven't tried all all the Copenhagen, but I've tried like the Copenhagen Natural and the Copenhagen Snuff, and I just I don't like Copenhagen. Uh, they're it'll work in a pinch, but it's not my yeah, favorite. Yeah, it'll it'll work in a pinch, but yeah. definitely not something I do every day. So one thing we'd like to know from our fans here and our subscribers: Where are you guys from? We're up here in Alaska. Right now we're having some really strange weather. It's, you know, a week from Thanksgiving here in November in, in Alaska. And we're having, you know, 35, 40 degrees. All of our snow's melted off. We're getting rain. It's it's crazy. It's, it's very rare you see weather like this up here in November. It's usually down in the low single digits, maybe even zero at night or below zero at night. And we're just, it's we're just not hitting it. It's yeah. super warm out. Where are you guys from? And uh, you don't have to give us your city. Just, you know, hey, we live in northern Michigan or southern Arizona or something like that. And just give us a shout out what kind of weather you're having there. Oh, man. My, my sister, she just got back from Arkansas. And she says it's uh, it was, what, 20 degrees when she left Arkansas? It was colder in Arkansas. Than it was here in Alaska. Than it was here in Alaska. <laughs> when, she left, when she left Little Rock, Arkansas... On Wednesday morning, mm -hmm. Wednesday morning, it was 20 degrees and snowing there, and we had almost 40 above and sunshine up here in Alaska. Yeah, it's just crazy. Usually about this time, uh, early December-ish, it's usually the coldest. Get gets the, really the cold year. going into December and through December, and by the time you hit January, coldest month of the year, it's brutal up here. Mm -hmm. uh, not so bad in the southern part of the state, but you get in the central and northern parts of the state, you know, Fairbanks and north, it, it gets really bad cold up yeah. there in the wintertime. We used to live in Fairbanks and, and, oh, I don't remember, somewhere around 2008 or so, 2009-ish in the winter, it was like January, and we hit, we had a big thermometer on a tree outside our kitchen window and it hit negative 63 like negative 63 yeah for for like two weeks straight we had like negative 63 below zero and yeah. that that was really bad even even with the heaters in your truck that you keep plugged in all night it didn't want to hardly start the next morning and we were glad you know you you can't really explain it to people unless they live through it when you're go through even a week or two of that cold of temperature and it warms up above zero it's like t-shirt weather it could still be you know in the teens 
10, 15 degrees out and you're in t-shirts barbecuing. It, it, it's hard to explain unless yeah. you actually live it, you know. Yeah, it's, there's uh, several winters in Fairbanks where it's cold enough you just get a boiling pot of water and throw it in the air and it freezes before it hits the ground. Yes. It was just I, I remember, our, uh, I don't know if it was our first or second winter up here in Alaska. I'm from, I'm, we're from New Mexico, Albuquerque area, and our first or second winter up here, it was like Easter Sunday, and we went out on a lake there outside of Fairbanks, and Chena Lakes, and the lake was frozen, they had like three foot of ice on the lake, yeah. and we're out on the lake playing, having a barbecue, and sledding in the snow, and the kids were just in jeans and a long sleeve t-shirt, no jacket or anything on, and you know, people back home when they seen the pictures and stuff thought we were crazy because we were out there without any jackets on well when you live through a winter where it's below zero all winter and it gets up to 30 above like it was that easter sunday even though there's you know three foot of ice on the lake and snow on the ground the sun shining down it was a beautiful day it, yeah, it's crazy it's, hard, hard it's, to believe that you could live through something like that and enjoy it when it's you know right at freezing without a jacket on yeah, at night here, it's been getting, it's been staying about 38 to 40 well, degrees. At, at, at night, when I get up in the morning to go to work, it's usually right around 20 degrees. Mm. And in the daytime, it's been getting up in the high 30s, close to 40 degrees in the daytime. The beginning of the week, we had real, real warm weather. Yeah. 48 degrees <clears throat> at the beginning of the week. Now, two, two, three weeks ago, we had our first snow, what, two weeks ago we had our first snow? No, three weeks three ago. Weeks three ago. weeks ago, we had our first snow, and we got... You know, within a day and a half, we had 10 inches, and then it stayed <clears throat> right around zero for almost two weeks, mm -hmm. and then it warmed back up and melted all the snow off, so it's been crazy. Yeah, there's a little little patches of ice every now and then outside, but for the most part, it's bare ground. Yeah. Nothing but bare ground, no snow or anything, so it's been a weird winter. Uh, it's been dark, though. It gets dark here what is it six o'clock and it's already pitch black out and it's already getting dark at about four or four thirty about four four thirty it starts getting dark here yeah so we don't get real long days in the winter time <clears throat> kind of slow and boring in yeah. the winter but so anyways we got a lot more video ideas we're going to be doing we got a lot of stuff on the back burner we're getting ready to do for you guys and post them uh if you like hit the button subscribe share Leave and comments, let leave us know comments, what you see. let us know what you want to uh, see, and we'll keep trying in the description box. If you want to just send us a letter of support or send us something you want us to show, leave your name. We'll give you a shout out when we read your mail. If you send us some mail, and we'll leave our address in the description box below. Um, other than that, I think that's about it for this one. Yeah, well, like, share, subscribe. Leave comments, and uh, we'll see you on the next oh, one. We'll see you later. Out. Out.